All right, now it's super easy. It really is. I'm throwing one up right here. These animated like and subscribe buttons. Everybody has them. I don't like wasting any time. Let's jump right into it. Now, first of all, there's going to be a couple of links in the description to a couple of different uh, animations of these like and subscribe buttons that other people have made that you can download in the links below. You can get these green screen background like and subscribe buttons kind of all over the place. So it's up to you where you want to get it. So I'm going to go ahead, I downloaded it, I extracted it, I'm going to drag and drop it right over here into DaVinci Resolve, such as, now that you're in here, just go ahead and play head over it, go ahead and click on it, and the way I do it, go ahead and go over to the color tab. There's three or four different ways you can green screen out a background. The way I do it, come over to the color tab here, right click in this grid, go to add alpha output, boom, connect this to that, and then you just come down over here, click on this dropper. Then click on this dropper and you're ready to rock. You can just click right here one spot. Usually you'd have to drag it all around, but this is a perfectly symmetrical color background. There's no variation in it at all. Now come down over here uh, next to these droppers, actually click these arrows pointing to the circles. It reverses it. You can see there's still some green around the edges. Just come right here to despill and drag it over and boom, all the green goes away and you're pretty much done. We'll go ahead and drag it over here, but I am going to show you one thing right here real quick. When you go ahead and zoom it in, oh, it turns all black around the edges. I'm going to control, hold control and hit Z. I'll undo that. That's all I did there. All you need to do here is right click on the clip and go to new compound clip and then go to create. Now you're done. Now you can go ahead and zoom in and stuff. I don't know why DaVinci Resolve is that way, but then you can go ahead and put it wherever you want to. Maybe you want it a little bigger, put it wherever you want to. You can pitch and tilt it if you really wanted to. But most people don't. They just drag and drop it and have it go super quick. We'll just go ahead and right here at the end, swipe through here and you can go ahead and see, boom, subscribe, get that notification bell turned on. And then it just stays there for a while. And however long you want it, you can go ahead and cut that off right there if you wanted to. This is all up to personal preference here. I just went ahead and cut it off shorter and then I'm just going to have it fade away. So it's that easy to get the like and subscribe buttons animated here in DaVinci Resolve.